Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to walk through a step-by-step -step approach to identifying blind school injection in login forms. By the end of this video, I'm pretty sure you'll feel way more confident about finding SQL injection bugs. So yeah, let's dive right in. All right, so first, let's take a look at the website interface here. You can see there's a login option, right? Let's go ahead and click on that. And as you can see, there's a sign-in form with fields for username and password. Now, let's start by um, checking the Waffleizer extension to see what language and server the website's using. And yep, it's built on PHP. And PHP is often vulnerable to skull injection. Okay, so now, let's just input any number and password to start our test, and then turn on your Foxy Proxy extension and Burp Suite's intercept switch so we can capture the login request. Once we've got that login form data, we'll send it over to the repeater for more testing. And don't forget to turn off the intercept button. Now, in the repeater, go ahead and click send to see the response. All right, great, we got the response. Now let's click on follow redirection and see where it takes us. Look at that, we got the full server response. This even includes operating system and server version information. Now, focusing in on the mobile number and password param, First, I'm going to start with uh, a basic error-based SQL injection payload for each parameter. This is like my go-to test to see if any SQL syntax error gives us a hint about injection vulnerability. Let me test in both parameters one by one. Please ensure you have proper permissions before testing any site for SQL vulnerabilities. This demonstration is intended purely for educational purposes as a proof of concept, and I've obtained permission from the site to conduct this testing. I hope you enjoy and like this video as your support motivates me to create more amazing content. Now, let me finish testing these error-based vulnerabilities, and then we can proceed with further testing. But yeah, as you can see, there's no indication of ASCAL injection just yet. So let's go a bit further and try some more powerful time-based payloads. If you're looking for something effective, my XWAR payload list on GitHub works wonders for time-based blind injections. So let's pick one payload and replace the number field with it. Hit send, and let's watch the response time. Aha, you see that? There's an 11 second delay. Now let's change the delay to zero and try it again. This time, the response is almost instant, like around one second. Now also let's change the delay to three or five and see the delay. As you can see, we got around same delay that we give into it. This is some pretty solid evidence of a time-based skill injection vulnerability. All right, let's double check this with a curl command in the terminal. Type the same curl command using minus X for the request method. Since we're doing post, we'll use post here and um, minus data to provide the login form data we captured in burp. Copy that data, paste it in here and in the number parameter, add the same XOR payload. Then, provide the URL endpoint for the login, hit enter, and see if there is a delay in response. And yup, just like in burp, we get that same delay. Now, just to be extra sure, let's change the delay again. This pretty much confirms the SQL injection vulnerability using curl as well. 
and uh, now it's time to exploit this for a proof of concept. For this, I'm going to use the Gari tool. It's like amazing for time-based injections, especially XOR-based injections on MySQL databases. So. Type the following command, add the URL endpoint with the post data we got from burp, and put an asterisk on the mobile parameter so it only tests that. I'm also adding the minus minus flush session flag here because I've already exploited this, but this flag isn't needed for your first run. Go ahead and hit enter and um, wait for it. I'm not using the DBS flag here due to YouTube policy, but you can add it for a full proof of concept if you're working on bug bounty platforms. And there we go. We've successfully identified a time-based blind school injection vulnerability in my school. Now, go ahead and copy this payload data for future testing with Bureau. Replace the data input with this new payload, hit enter, and boom! We get a 9 second delay, confirming this isn't a false positive. This should be enough for a proof of concept even if you're not able to extract the database. As an alternative method, you can test the same process by saving all the burp request data in a file. Name it anything you like. Put an asterisk on the parameter where you want to test SQL injection and save it. Then use this command with level 3 for more advanced payload. If you know the database type, use minus minus DVMs for better accuracy and uh, also specify technique to focus only on time-based injections since we know it's vulnerable to time-based. Hit enter and look at that. We get a fast response because, well, it's already saved in my Dory session file. For you, it will take some time. And that's it, folks. We successfully identified our SQL injection vulnerability. Now, you can go ahead and report this on a bug bounty platform. Also, if you're new here, um, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos with more advanced techniques. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.